So I've just unhooked the new speed power module and it takes a while to adapt. And since I have to drive the car into the dealership tomorrow, I just, I don't really want any surprises. So I thought I would do a quick scan, scan for codes just so I know what's in the computer and so I don't get any surprises or, or make sure they're not gonna make anything up on me. So this is my Rostec adapter. So this is a uh, OBD2 CAN bus hex adapter and uh, I am, it has a USB plug on it. I'm adapting that through a USB on the go cable so I can use this tablet. This is a, this is a Windows tablet that runs a full Windows uh, version. It has to be an actual computer. Plug in the cable. There's the cable. Cable's at the top, actually. It's been quite a while since I did this. Okay. Oh, glare is a problem, eh? Need this. Okay, let's start up Rostec. Okay, VCDS version 15.7.3. So I'm going to just turn the ignition on. I'm just going to press the... Uh... <clears throat> so I've just pressed the start button. Now we're ready, so we should be able to just go auto scan. And it's already set up for CAN bus automatically and I'm just gonna hit start. And now it's gonna scan for my codes. Initializing. This takes quite a while to scan. So it looks like I have a couple of errors already with the ABS brakes, light, light assist, all that kind of stuff. So I don't plan on clearing any of them unless they look like something that is based on my fault. So we'll see what the computer has to say. Now don't be freaked out by errors when you, it's very rare to scan your whole computer and get it completely clean. So I've done this on many Volkswagens and there's always something. I mean, it can be something as stupid and simple as like a uh, voltage dip in a door switch. You know, it's extremely sensitive. It's amazing how many things on these cars are talking to the computer. Almost absolutely every switch and button and knob and anything that you can change in the car is speaking back to the car's computer and automatically keeping a log of that. And that's what I'm tapping into with this right now. This is scanning all through all of the controller banks and checking all of the coding and logs and seeing what's going on. probably fast forward through all of this because it is pretty boring to watch it's only the final report that I'm interested in and looking at the f at the errors this car also has the dynamic lighting and high beam assist which is something that US cars do not get so um, I have some unique things that the Canadian and European cars get such as automatic high beam low beam assistant where the com there's a camera that's up in here that's constantly watching the road and uh, when it's nighttime I can just flick forward on the stock and it'll go into an auto light and it automatically watches the road and will do a high beam and low beam for me. The lights just turned on themselves and did a little uh, dance. Radio just turned on itself, diagnostic for the radio. Almost done. Okay, there we go. Final done. So we have an error with the brakes, an error with the central electronics, an error with the high beam assist, and something going on with information uh, electronics. So let's just take a look and see here what we got going on. Um, uh, oh, mosquitoes. So I want to see what's going on with that one. Steering angle sensor voltage too low at 17,047. So that's what I mean. Like something little, little, little like that will throw a, throw an error. So that's nothing to be worried about. I'm not going to clear that. I'm going to let VW see that. So I'm going to just say done, go back. Close controller, go back. So nothing, I mean, that was under ABS brake malfunction. So that, 
that's where it makes you like freak out like oh my god brake malfunction it was nothing it was uh, steering steering voltage too low central electronics malfunction let's see what this one is two faults will show them to me fault codes that it won't show to me that's a new one I've never seen that before so gonna leave that for VW to see too because who knows what that is but done go back high beam assist probably be complaining that one fault found oh and then it's not even telling me what they are oh receiving faults please wait it says or maybe I was too quick before I have to wait for it to load come on load the codes I don't know it's not it's taking too long to load I'm just gonna say done go back information electronics oh it's the radio something's going on with the radio three faults loading please wait I don't know why the faults aren't loading properly anyway nothing to be concerned about we're going to just leave all those codes there for Volkswagen to see there's nothing in here that's related to anything that I've done it's all just normal codes so we'll uh, close this and that's it okay thanks for watching